the city trying to bridge the black white wealth gap. 1,200 first graders in Canarsie and East Flatbush, Brooklyn, have been awarded $1,000 each through this Save for College program. Yeah, here to tell us about it is New York's first deputy mayor, Sheena Wright. Thank you so much for being here, first deputy mayor. And by the way, congratulations, just appointed first deputy mayor. So before we get into the topic, let me just get your thoughts on what you hope to bring to the position. Well, I, I want to just clarify, I am the incoming first deputy mayor. Uh, you know, that'll start in January, yeah. and I'm very excited to continue to advance uh, the agenda of the Adams administration, everything from economic opportunity, public safety. Uh, you know, we have a, a robust agenda to really deliver for New Yorkers. All right, well, let's take talk about the topic at hand. Your release that we're looking at here states that nationally black families have less than 10% the wealth of white families. So. How much of a dent do you think your program can make then? Really a significant dent. We know that educational opportunity and access to educational opportunity is a gateway to wealth building and wealth creation. There's a, a marked difference uh, between someone that has a college degree and, and their ability to accumulate wealth and someone that has a high school diploma. Mm. And this program starts saving in kindergarten. Wow. And, and we are investing in young people for every year from kindergarten until they graduate, 12 years of investment. And the study and the research shows that if you invest between one and $500 uh, in a child's savings account, you are three times more likely, that child is three times more likely to attend and graduate from mm. college. That's huge. I mean, it's so important to start young, right, like you said. And Canarsie and East Flatbush, those are District 18. And when you look at the numbers, 86% of students there are black. So it's the highest in the city. Was it specific, specifically why those students in that district were chosen? I think uh, what we are, are, are really focused on, and our philanthropic partners really wanted to focus on this as well, is that there are historic communities, black, brown, and Asian communities, that have really suffered from decades of disinvestment. So this is also about racial equity and social justice, and making sure those communities that have historically been redlined um, and really shut out of opportunity, that we are really providing economic opportunities specifically to those communities. But these savings accounts are available uh, from an investment from the city for every kindergarten student and traditional public schools and charter schools across the entire city. Mm. We made that investment and commitment in the Adams administration. So you intend to expand the program to the other areas of the city? No, it's, it's already it's expanded. Already in last, place. Well, last spring, we invested, the city invested $100 in, for every kindergarten student. Um, and it was a part of almost a $15 million overall investment. But what we need now is we need communities and other people to invest in these accounts. So this announcement were phil philanthropic organizations and individuals investing specifically in this community, this predominantly mm -hmm. black community, to level the playing field. You know, in, in terms of the money itself, you know, how is it actually going to be invested? And I guess in the long run, who is going to watch over the accounts? Well, what's brilliant about this program, it is a 529 plan. Uh, there was a lot of hard work done by New York City Kids Rise to make sure that families could get access to this, this incredible tool. So it's going to compound every year. Imagine if you invested $100 in your 529 plan for your for your child and 12 years later it's thousands upon thousands of dollars mm -hmm. it's responsibly invested it's overseen and managed uh, by regulators so it's really going to compound and grow over time mm -hmm. yeah i think a lot of parents still will wonder though what what if your kid doesn't go to college will it just be for college or will it could it be used for something else if there are there allowable uh, expenses that the 529 uh, can be used for, and so there there are other things as well. And if they don't go to college, uh, but they go to a trade school or okay. or some other things, or you can use those funds, uh, but there are um, uh, there could be some you know penalties if you don't use it for college. But those funds would be available. So so what's the reaction been so far from the from parents specifically in these communities? <laughs> It, it was overwhelming. I mean, yesterday was such an emotional announcement. And, and I think what families are saying are, we are so grateful that it, it's not just us that has, it really takes a village and the village showed up. Mm. 
What's beautiful about this, it's a platform. So you can have local businesses that are raising money uh, to put it in their, in their children in the community's college account, local churches, other community-based organizations, other family members. So people are using this as a way to galvanize communities to support the children in their community and, and really ensure their futures. So this is really just the beginning. It is just the beginning. Uh, we're really hopeful that this really sends a spark that every neighborhood in the city of New York, that people get excited about it, um, that they really wrap their arms around their local schools, that they do events and activities to really raise money so that those college savings accounts are robust mm. and enable the young people just to, to achieve whatever they dream. Awesome. It is a great program overall. Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright, thank you for being here. And uh, come back in January when it's officially official. <laughs> yes. Thank All you right. so much. Thanks for having me. Happy holidays.